Avalonia UI installation on a Windows machine. Using a terminal, let us check the currently installed versions of .NET SDKs. Download the latest version of .NET from Microsoft website. Click the executable to start the installation. The latest version of .NET SDK is installed successfully. Verify by running the .NET list command. Install Avalonia templates. Verify the installed Avalonia templates. It is possible to use many code editors to develop Avalonia apps. Today, we will study two types of editors, VS Code and the Visual Studio extension. Install VS Code if not installed. Open VS Code and from the Extensions tab, search for Avalonia for VS Code. Make sure that the C-Sharp Dev Kit and C-Sharp extensions from Microsoft are installed. Go to the command prompt and create an application name first app. Open the newly created folder in VS Code. Click on the Show Preview to the See the Controls in Preview window. Click the Build button, shown in the lower right corner. The build process starts. After a successful build, you will be able to see the controls in the preview window. Let us remove the default text and add a few more controls as part of our test drive. Okay. 
we have added a text block with a drop shadow. Now, let us add a command button that toggles the text of the text block. Build and run the application using .NET Run command. If you see an error in the terminal window during the build process, close the preview button and execute the .NET Run command again. A successful run command displays the main window. Next, we will work with another IDE, the Visual Studio extension. Go to the Extensions menu and search for Avalonia extensions from Avalonia Team. Install Avalonia for Visual Studio. Open Visual Studio. Create a new project search for the templates from Avalonia. Select Avalonia.net app, Avalonia UI, and click Next. Enter the project name and location and click Next. Here, we will be entering the same code as in the previous example. Run the application. Thank you for watching.